let us start with the motor system motor system means movements we can we can do various types of body movements okay the body movements which can we can do may be as simple as withdrawal reflex okay knee jerk or it can be as complicated as writing and speaking horse riding swimming cycling we we can do so many different type of body movements how these body movements are performed so they are performed in a very complex fashion by the use of spinal cord brain stem mid brain cerebrocortex cerebellum basal ganglia so they are involved in a very complex network to achieve my motor goal now suppose i am writing then what is spinal cord doing what is brain stem doing what is mid brain doing what is cortex doing what is cerebellum doing what is basal ganglia doing so it's a very complex network so let us start from level by level let us start with spinal cord okay what is the motor function of spinal cord so the main motor function of spinal cord is stretch reflex that is knee jerk okay like say if spinal cord is cut spinal cord cut this type of animal is known as spinal animal okay paraplegia you can say because of the injury spinal cord is cut so both the lower limbs will be paralyzed paraplegia so what is that thing which can still be demonstrated in a spinal animal can he walk after paraplegia can he walk no he cannot walk knee jerk yes knee jerk will definitely come so main motor function of spinal cord is stretch reflex now what is this stretch reflex what is that just see whenever a muscle is stressed within a fraction of second it will contract this is stretch reflex this is knee jerk okay if you stretch biceps it will contract this is this is the jerk stretch reflex how it happens if we stretch a muscle it contracts back how it happens so just see it carefully just see it carefully this is the skeletal muscle this is the belly this is tendon and this is inserted into the bone skeletal muscle is composed of thousands of fibers there are thousands of skeletal muscle fibers and all these fibers are known as extra fusal fibers they are all extra fusal fibers now within the belly of the skeletal muscles there are some modified skeletal muscle fibers maybe just 1 to 3 mm in length and these modified very small 1 to 3 mm these modified skeletal muscle fibers are known as intrafusal fiber or muscle spindle okay i'm i'm enlarging this muscle spindle this this muscle spindle i'm enlarging so this is the muscle spindle or the intrafusal fiber the total length of this may be just 1 to 3 mm and this is the ordinary extrafusal fiber which may be many centimeters long maybe 10 cm 15 cm long extra fusal fiber the muscle spindle is attached to the sides of the extra fusal fiber so that means if i stretch the muscle that means i am stretching the extra fusal fiber muscle spindle will also be stressed is okay peripheral portion of the muscle spindle this portion it has actin and myosin it can contract the peripheral portion but the central portion of the muscle spindle this this portion it cannot contract it is actually the receptor portion okay it is a sensor in this central portion of the muscle spindle in this portion we actually have two types of fibers we have nuclear bag fiber nuclear chain fiber okay per spindle there may be 1 to 3 nuclear bag fibers there may be 7 to 9 nuclear chain fibers 
they are, they are present in this portion of the muscle spindle here. This is nuclear back fiber. This is nuclear chain fiber. They are present in this portion of the muscle spindle. Is okay? I'm just removing it. Both this nuclear bag and nuclear chain fibers, they are both the sensors. They are both receptors. Okay? So they are both supplied by afferent nerves. Afferent nerve. Okay. There are two types of afferents. Primary ending, secondary ending. Annulospiral ending, flower spray ending. Okay. The primary ending is coming both from nuclear bag and nuclear chain fiber. This is going to spinal cord and this is actually a type 1A fiber. The secondary ending is coming only from nuclear chain fiber. This is also going to the spinal cord. This is actually a type 2 fiber. So this is primary ending this is secondary ending this is 1a this is 2 this is also known as 1a is also known as what is the name of 1a this is known as annulospiral ending annulospiral and this type 2 this is also known as flower spray ending okay very typical names sometimes in mcq they just try to confuse you okay so this is annulospiral ending this is primary and the other one is uh, this secondary is also known as flower spray ending so there are two type of afferents coming from nuclear bag and nuclear chain fiber 1a and two primary and secondary primary and secondary 1a or 2 or you can also call it as annulospiral flower spray and according to this type of connection annulospiral is coming from bag and chain both flower spray is coming only from chain according to such type of connections they are both coming from bag and chain and they are both going to spinal cord okay what will make these fibers fire? Annulospiral flower spray, 1A and 2. What will make these fibers fire? Stretch. So that means if I am stretching the skeletal muscle, muscle spindle will also be stressed. When this muscle spindle will be stressed, suppose its length becomes like this. So what will happen? So these 1A and 2, they will fire. Okay. Where will the signal go? Signal will go to spinal cord. The signal will go to spinal cord. Obviously from the dorsal root. What will the spinal cord do? This signal coming from dorsal root, this will make monosynaptic connections with antihorn cell and antihorn cell will supply to the extrafusal fiber of the same muscle. So the muscle will, so what will happen to this muscle? So the muscle will contract, simple. This is stretch reflex. So that means if I am stretching the muscle, muscle spindle will be stressed. So muscle spindle will send the signal to the spinal cord as a feedback signal will come back to the same muscle and the muscle will contract. This is stretch reflex. This is knee jerk, bicep jerk. You stretch it, it will contract, bicep jerk. This is stretch reflex. After how much time it will do the contraction? 19 to 24 milliseconds. It will do the contraction after 19 to 24 milliseconds. For knee jerk. For ankle jerk. Obviously it will be more than that. For knee jerk it is 19 to 24 milliseconds. For ankle jerk it will come from more distance, go back to more distance. It will be more than that. For knee jerk, it is 19 to 24 milliseconds. Is it clear? This is stretch reflex. Okay. On the other hand, what will the spindle do when the muscle contracts? 
just see here again. If if this muscle, if this extra fusal fiber of the muscle contracts, what will happen to this spindle? Spindle will become small, short. Whatever stretch which was present in the muscle spindle, that stretch will disappear. Okay, slag slag will appear in the muscle spindle. Its length is reduced. The length of the central portion will be reduced. When length will be reduced, what will happen to firing firing of these? The firing of this will be reduced. Whatever firing going on, even that firing will disappear. You can say these afferents will be the, the these afferents will be inhibited. When this will be inhibited, so this will also be inhibited. So what will happen to this muscle? This muscle will this muscle will relax. If the muscle tries to contract, this mechanism coming back from spinal cord will immediately relax it. Okay. After how much time it will do the relaxation? The same 19 to 24 milliseconds for knee jerk. Okay. So what is this mechanism doing? If you stretch a muscle, this mechanism will do the contraction after some time. And if the muscle tries to contract, this mechanism will do the relaxation. This okay. What is this doing? What is this mechanism doing? This is a length regulating mechanism feedback control of muscle length if you ever increase the length of the muscle this mechanism will decrease the length and if you ever decrease the length of the muscle by contraction this mechanism will do the relaxation so it will increase the length this is a feedback control of muscle length it is a length regulating mechanism just like the baroreceptor regulates BP similarly stretch reflex regulates the muscle length And what is the function of this reflex? Why, why this reflex has been designed? Okay. Uh, obviously this is not designed, this, this reflex is not designed for diagnosis. Okay. Obviously this is not designed for playing. So why this reflex has been designed? What is the function of this reflex? Why God has made this mechanism? Why? This is designed to regulate length and therefore the posture posture maintenance okay muscle length cannot change posture cannot change maintain length posture suppose suppose i am sitting here suppose you push me will i fall no if you push me i'll jerk back you know to fall length of some muscle will decrease some will decrease stretch reflex will not allow you to do that suppose this is my posture to try to change the posture, it will come back, it will come back, it will jerk back. I maintain the length in which I am, maintain length and therefore the posture. If I am saying that muscle length cannot change, posture cannot change, so, so what do you think, we will behave like robots, what do you think? How will I change my muscle length? So suppose I want to do this. I am doing voluntary, voluntary movements from my cortex, th this movement, okay, biceps contracts, triceps is relaxed, this triceps is stressed, where the stretch reflex of the triceps has gone now, uh, okay, how voluntary movements will happen, if you will try to do this, it will jerk back, but I can definitely do this, so how voluntary movements will happen? The stretch reflex will not let you contract the muscle. So how voluntary movements will happen? This is because of gamma motor neurons. Gamma motor neurons. Just see. This motor neuron which is supplying to the extra fusal fiber, this is actually the alpha motor neuron. There is another motor neuron coming from the spinal cord small in size and this is the gamma motor neuron and this supplies to the peripheral contractile ends of the muscle spindle. This is gamma motor neuron. Okay. 
now just see what will happen if i stimulate the alpha motor neuron what will happen if i stimulate this neuron what will happen this muscle extrafusal fiber this muscle will contract when this muscle will contract what will the spindle do what will the spindle do so obviously when this extrafusal fiber will contract what will happen to spindle okay its length will be reduced its length will be reduced like this when its length will be reduced these afferents will will be inhibited when afferent will be inhibited this will also be inhibited so the muscle will relax can you see whenever i stimulate the extrafusal fiber that boss you please contract this reflex this stretch reflex going and coming back will not let it contract it will immediately do the relaxation is okay on the other hand what will happen if i stimulate the gamma motor neuron what will happen now just see peripheral portion of the muscle spindle this portion peripheral portion of the muscle spindle will contract it is fixed here so what will happen to central portion so when peripheral portion will contract it is fixed here so central portion will be stressed when central portion will be stressed they will fire so this will fire so muscle will contract see the paradox i told him directly extrafusal fiber that boss you please contract what is he saying this stretch reflex will not let it contract okay if i if i tell this extra fuser fiber simply that boss you please contract what is saying he is saying that no sorry i can't contract stretch reflex will not let let me contract sorry i can't contract on the other hand if you stimulate the gamma motor neuron then what will happen okay now this muscle contracts via stretch reflex okay you tell the extra fuser fiber you please contract what is saying sorry i can't contract you tell the gamma via gamma motor neuron you tell the intrafusal fiber that please tell the extrafusal fiber to contract now the muscle contracts so can you do the contraction through alpha motor neuron no you can't do that can you do it through gamma motor neuron yes you can do that so all the voluntary contractions coming from higher center in case of voluntary contraction it is because of alpha gamma coactivation alpha gamma coactivation whenever cortex will stimulate alpha cortex will stimulate gamma also when you will stimulate both simultaneously muscle will contract without simultaneous stimulation of the gamma motor neuron muscle will not contract stretch reflex will not let you contract the muscle so all the voluntary contractions are because of alpha gamma coactivation is okay okay why in this portion of the muscle spindle we have two types of fibers back fiber chain fiber back fiber chain fiber both are sensitive to stretch you will stretch nuclear back fiber will sense it chain fiber will also sense it what is the difference in two, these two types of fibers this will sense length and this will sense what this will sense back fiber what will this sense rate of change of length velocity you can call it chain fiber will if you will stretch the muscle slowly the chain fiber will sense it and if you stretch the muscle suddenly nuclear back fiber will sense it so if you stretch the muscle suddenly nuclear back fiber will do the sudden contraction knee jerk 
if you stretch it slowly you will slowly feel the resistance slow contraction okay muscle tone so nuclear bag fiber is for dynamic stretch reflex nuclear chain fiber is for static stretch reflex bag fiber is for dynamic and chain fiber is for static dynamic stretch reflex static stretch reflex okay stretch the muscle suddenly you will get sudden contraction stretch the muscle slowly you will get slow contraction muscle tone so knee jerk is a dynamic stretch reflex and muscle tone is a is a static stretch reflex so not only you can sense length you can sense the rate of change of length also is it clear in the upper motor neuron lesion in the patient of stroke <clears throat> the feedback sensitivity of this stretch reflex is increased somehow our cortex keeps this stretch reflex in a suppressed state so if this cortex will go in the upper motor neuron lesion the feedback sensitivity of this reflex is reduced uh, sorry feedback sensitivity of this stretch reflex is increased so what will happen the dynamic stretch reflex will increase so you will get hyper reflexia static stretch reflex is also increased through through nuclear chain fiber and you will get hypertonia so hyper reflexia and hypertonia this is the characteristic of upper motor neuron lesions is it clear it's okay okay what is clonus what is clonus what is this? This is this is clonus. Repeated contraction. The, the sustained contraction is tetanus, and this repeated contraction is clonus. Why clonus? Why 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 clonus? Why, why why this type of thing? So can you see when I'm doing this, my triceps is stressed. So what will the stretch reflex of triceps do? As a feedback, what will this do? It will do contraction of triceps. Now, now my triceps contracts, so its length is reduced. What will the stretch reflex do? It will do relaxation. Now it is again stressed. What will this do? Again contraction. Again relaxation. Again. So feedback oscillation again and again of the stretch reflex will lead to clonus. So when, when feedback sensitivity of this stretch reflex is increased, what will happen? If this stretch reflex feedback sensitivity increased, what will happen? You can record clonus also. Is okay? So in upper motor neuron lesions, what will happen? Hyperreflexia, hypertonia, clonus also. Actually, grade 4 of a jerk is known as clonus. This is the normal jerk. Just see. This is the normal jerk. If its sensitivity is increased, what will happen? Jerk will become brisk. If it is further increased, what will happen? More brisk. Okay. And if it is further increased, what will happen? You tap the tendon once, multiple jerks. Tap it once, multiple jerks. Clonus. It's okay. So grade 4 of a jerk is known as clonus. So in upper motor neuron lesion, you can record clonus also. The jerks may become so sensitive, you may get clonus also is it clear so this stretch reflex this is one function of the spinal cord feedback control of muscle length this is one function there is another function what is that another function that is mediated through Golgi tendon organ just see another sensor this is the muscle Again, belly, tendon and insertion. Muscle spindle was present over here. Leave it. There is another sensor here. What is this? What is this? This is the Golgi tendon organs. They are, they are present in tendon. This okay. So these are the tendon fibers. Tendon fibers. This is inserted into the bone. And here we have, what is this? This is the Golgi tendon organ tendon fibers this is the Golgi tendon organ this is inserted into the bone 
so muscle spindle was in belly but the golgi tendon organ is in tendon muscle spindle was in parallel with muscle fibers the golgi tendon organ is in is in series with muscle fiber so this golgi tendon organ it is also a sensor so this is supplied by afferent nerve so what is the afferent what is the afferent from golgi tendon organ this afferent is 1a sorry this is this is not 1a this is what is the afferent from muscle spindle 1a and 2 what is the afferent from golgi tendon organ it is 1b fiber from muscle spindle 1a and 2 from golgi tendon organ it is 1b fiber is okay if this muscle is stressed if i stretch this muscle this 1b fiber will fire is okay if this muscle contracts then this fiber will also fire okay this is in series this is not in parallel in muscle spindle what happens when we stretch a muscle the muscle spindle fires when the muscle contracts the muscle spindle is inhibited but here in this case in case of golgi tendon organ whether i stretch it or whether the muscle contracts this, this will fire in both the cases because this is in series so what is this sensing what is this golgi tendon organ sensing it is sensing tension it is not a length sensor it is a tension sensor so whenever tension in the tendon fiber is more whether because of the passive stretch or whether because of the contraction of the muscle whenever tension in this fiber is more this 1b fiber will fire where will the signal go signal will go to spinal cord same spinal cord obviously from the dorsal root what will the spinal cord do now so this is a very classical example of the bisynaptic reflex two synapses are involved signal will come back and supply to the extra fusal fiber of the same muscle and the muscle will relax muscle will relax so this reflex is known as inverse stretch reflex is okay this reflex is known as inverse stretch reflex and what is the function of this reflex what is the function of this reflex when when tension in the tendon is more this will do immediate relaxation of the muscle what is the function of this reflex it has a protective role it will protect you from tendon rupture when tension in tendon is more you do the relaxation uh, uh, otherwise tendon will rupture so it has a protective role is okay it will protect you from tendon rupture is it clear okay then you answer my simple question if i stretch a muscle what will happen this golgi tendon organ will this this organ golgi tendon organ will fire what will this try to do as a feedback what will this try to do it will try to do the relaxation if i stretch a muscle the muscle spindle muscle spindle will be stressed this this muscle spindle will be stressed it will also fire and what will this try to do as a feedback contraction so what will happen if i stretch a muscle the golgi tendon organ will fire inverse stretch reflex will be activated and that will try to do the relaxation muscle spindle will also fire and that will try to do the contraction what will happen if i stretch a muscle you will do contraction through stretch reflex 
or or you will do relaxation through inverse stretch reflex what will happen you can't do both you will do contraction and save your posture and break your tendon or you will obey the golgi tendon organ and do the relaxation and save your tendon and break your posture you can't do both you have to do one thing like if if you will push me i have two option if you push me i jerk back i'll save my posture or second option you push me i fall i i do the relaxation i fall so what will happen you can't do both so if if i'll stretch any muscle you will do contraction or relaxation both will fire stretch receptor will fire golgi tendon will also fire so what will happen i will do contraction i will do contraction like this i will obey the muscle spindle and do the contraction if i pull it very hard then inverse stretch reflex is activated and that will do the relaxation so inverse stretch reflex this reflex has a has a very high threshold this reflex has a high threshold this will not fire when when tension in this tendon is 5 kg or 10 kg it will fire when tension in this tendon may be 100 kg okay so very simple if you push me slowly i'll jerk back if you push me very hard i'll fall so simple i'm i'm holding my hand like this if you, if you just drop 1 kg like this what will happen eyes are closed what will happen it will go like this if i drop 2 kg what will happen just drop 2 kg what will happen you drop 5 kg like this it will automatically go like this if you drop 100 kg what will happen if you do this thing in 100 kg the tendon will break so as you drop 100 kg it will fall so inverse stretch reflex has a very high threshold it will not fire when tension in this tendon is 5 kg or 10 kg it will fire when tension in this tendon is 100 kg mind it in upper motor neuron lesion the feedback sensitivity of this reflex is also increased this inverse stretch reflex will also become more sensitive so what will happen what will happen so the reflex which was supposed to be activated at 100 kg will be activated at 10 kg it will be activated early this has become more sensitive so what will happen in upper motor neuron lesion when feedback sensitivity of stretch reflex inverse stretch reflex both increased what will happen if you stretch the muscle if you stretch the muscle what will happen so stretch reflex is more sensitive so what will happen uh, you will do contraction okay you will get rigidity but inverse stretch reflex will be activated early so what will happen Sud- suddenly rigidity will disappear suddenly inverse stretch reflex has been activated what will happen class class knife effect okay you are getting rigidity because you are getting contraction stretch reflex more sensitive and why suddenly you your rigidity disappears because inverse stretch reflex is also more sensitive and that is activated early okay this phenomenon is known as class knife rigidity is okay so questions are very, very regularly framed on the stretch reflex and inverse stretch reflex very regularly framed so so can, can, can you summarize stretch reflex is mediated through if i if i uh, try to summarize the differences this is stretch reflex and then we have inverse stretch reflex what is the difference this is mediated through spindle and this is mediated through golgi tendon golgi tendon ref- organ this is a length sensor this is a tension sensor is okay here the afferents are what is the afferent here 1a and 2 and here the afferent is 1b this okay so 
स्ट्रेच रिफ्लेक्स इज मीडिएटेड थ्रू मसल स्पिंडल एंड इनवर्स स्ट्रेच रिफ्लेक्स इज मीडिएटेड थ्रू गॉलगी टेंडन मसल स्पिंडल इज ए लेंथ सेंसर इनवर्स स्ट्रेच रिफ्लेक्स इज अज अ टेंशन सेंसर ओके डोंट डोंट फॉर गेट दैट द एफरेंट फ्रॉम मसल स्पिंडल इज वन ए एंड टू ओके एंड द एफरेंट फ्रॉम इनवर्स स्ट्रेच रिफ्लेक्स इज वन बी both these 1a and 2 they are both afferents and what are the efferents there are two type of efferents one is alpha and gamma okay so don't don't get confused alpha and gamma they are efferents and these 1a and 2 they are afferents so very regularly questions are very regularly asked on stretch reflex and inverse stretch reflex and the choices are also very confusing okay 1a 2 1b this that alpha gamma this that there are so many choices spindel golgi tendon so they confuse you in choices also and questions are routinely they are asked on this is okay its function of stretch reflex is posture maintenance length maintenance and therefore posture and what is the function of this protection protection is the function if you are lifting heavy weight tension in this becomes so high you leave the weight so it will protect you from tendon rupture so so inverse stretch reflex the function is protection stretch reflex the function is posture maintenance is it clear okay 